Hey, you fuckers. Welcome to the Terrible Podcast. I am Nick. And I am Brad. And we're going to talk about some shit. We're here to talk some shit. About some shit. Hey, about some shit. Hey, Brad. What up? How you doing, buddy? Oh, not bad, dude. Just uh, dough dicking the day away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're what? Dough dicking it. Okay. That's where you take uh, the dick of a doe, a deer, a female deer. Right. Well, they don't have those. Yeah, well, it's, the thing is, they do. Huh. You just have to use your imagination. Oh, sure. I didn't play very good uh, yes and there. You know, when you do... I didn't uh, even know that's a game. It is. It's when you do improv, it's yes and. That's how you react. Am I the only fucking professional in this garage, dude? Yeah. Am I the only fucking professional? Yeah, and you're the only professional in this garage. Very good, yes, and. All right. Thank you. I think I got it. And we're back. I think I grasped the concept. And you know what? Thank you for teaching me that. This guy uh, is a jack-of-no-trades master of all of them. Dude, I know, like, two things about most things. baiting. Oh, I understand what you did there. And? (laughs) And? I appreciate it. All right. See? I like this game. This is a good game. He was saying I'm a masturbator. Yes. And? And so am I. (laughs) And there we go. And that's why we're friends, folks. The only reason. (laughs) We don't relate to much on anything else, but boy, can we beat... Dude, I remember back in the day, first time we met each other, we were at the same party. Yeah. yeah. And I looked across the room and I saw, you know, my little red haired friend over here getting a beer out of a keg. And I was like, What's up, dude? You jerk off? Yeah. And, you, and you were like, Fuck yeah, I jerk off. And then we just talked about it. Yeah, dude. It turned into a real bait, bait race there. <laughs> and now we're being about it. We're just race baiting. This is a weird start to the show. It's, it is. It's strange. Um, clarification for everybody, as there is in all of our episodes, uh, we don't, um, I mean, it's, I guess two people would count as a circle jerk. I guess that's more <laughs> of a line jerk, if you think about it. There's two points, that's a line segment. It's, it's, it's like, uh, okay, so we never jerked it around each other or anything. Is the ultimate point of that. Not that there's anything wrong with that, no, either. it's totally fine. It's totally um, fine. That's just something that neither of us consent to with each other. Just, so we we've never done that while Brad was awake, is the yeah. point he's trying to make. Yeah. <laughs> Neek walked in on my truck once, and my hand was down my pants, but I was asleep. So I don't know what Dude, that is. Oh, my God. <laughs> so uh, we, we, we were in a metal band together for years and years. And at this point, it was years and years ago that we did that. But uh, we played, well... That's a whole other story. Anyway, our band was at this uh, festival, an outdoor festival, and you know we camped out. And the next morning, I woke up first, and I, I went to get Brad because it was like, you know, let's, let's get the fuck out of here. This place sucks. And he was sleeping in his truck, and I opened the door, and just straight up, his hand was down his pants, dude. It was just keeping it warm. Yeah. And it was keeping things warm. It was a good. <laughs> it was like when two bears snuggled to hibernate. So I was like, Brad, and he's like, what up? <laughs> and, and I said, What's, what are you doing with your hand? And he like, it took him a second, dude. He, he fucking like looked around. It, he looked everywhere but his hands for a second. <laughs> and, then, and then he looked down and he's like, oh, I was sleeping, dude. But, you yeah, know. well, because my first reaction wasn't, oh, this dude just caught me masturbating because I wasn't masturbating. <laughs> I was sleeping with my hand in my pants, fully dressed in a hoodie in a cold-ass truck in the middle of of a fucking cow pasture. Like, I was fighting for warmth in that thing. You were fighting for your life. I guess I could have jerked off. It would have been a little warmer at that point. But then what do you do with the cum? You know what I mean? I was in my own truck. That's gross. I was in my own truck. I've always thought, you know, I'm sure you've seen the movie Titanic. It's not like it had great upholstery, though. Yes, I've seen Titanic. (laughs) Um, and you know the I think it's one of the chefs or something he's drinking the whole time that the ship is going down um, and people say like that might have kept his body warm the whole time and he probably survived because the alcohol warmed his body I heard that as a uh, an ornery teenager and thought well I'll just you know 
start vigorously masturbating, and that would probably keep my body warm. Uh, and I'll survive a shipwreck. <laughs> You're just chilling in the coldest of waters, like fucking... yeah, like. <laughs> and people are like, you know, oh, there are any survivors? Yeah, and and you're like, over yeah. here. I'm like, I'm, and I'm then, over here, but hold on a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look, but save me. Um, Dude. The thing that would suck about that is from that point on, the rest of your life, you would have to be in like an ice bath to climax. Oh, yeah. Because that'd just be a thing. It yeah. just, that'd just instantly be your kink. It's like, uh, you know, those guys that hang themselves when they you know yeah get with it uh, not to name names but it rhymes with david Terradine was one of them and uh oh man great in his field also i don't want to you know name names but like this guy was a uh a professional or what you could view his works. What type of art is it? I'm not going to tell you. Figure that out. Whatever. He was in a movie. Who is this I, mystery man? I won't name the movie, but it rhymes with Bill Kill. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, and then after that, uh, he sadly passed away after leaving behind a lot of art for us. Uh, you know. Yeah. But yeah. Anyways, he was one of those guys. Yeah, he did that and died about it. Um, and that sucks. He seemed like a nice man, yeah. and I wish nothing but the best for his family. Yeah, like, friends. that didn't spoil anything for me about David Cage. I wasn't like, oh, whoa, oh. he's a fucking strangle beater? Ooh. But now I see him in a whole different light. I was like, no, that's him. Bill does crazy shit, Yep, is what I thought. Yep. I'm like, Bill, Bill was wildin' to begin with. What he just did doesn't surprise me. Uh, super weird show so far. Hey, uh, Brad, I want to... I want to ask you a couple questions here, buddy. Okay. And what are they? It's funny. Your phone just went off because uh, my first question is, hey, why in the fuck do you even have a phone if you're never going to text me back? I'll text you uh, at a decent hour. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, hey, man, what's going on? You trying to kick it later? You want to record a podcast later? And you know what you say? Nothing. You say nothing. Yeah, no, I'm, the, I'm there. I'm, I'm part you, of it. Listen, you say... That's what you say. And you say that <laughs> You say that for several hours on end, dude. And I'm just sitting there like, oh, I guess... Oh, okay, man. so the first couple hours, I'm like, oh, he, he hasn't seen it yet. He hasn't seen it yet. I keep telling myself... Dude, dude, listen. You keep telling listen, yourself I haven't seen it? Listen, like I'm a little kid waiting for his fucking dad to call him and i'm like oh he must have just gotten busy and he'll call me soon he still loves me yeah he still fucking cares about me yeah, dude and then is. and then four hours rolls by and i'm like still haven't heard anything from brad not a word not a peep out of this guy and that's when i start telling myself all right i'm gonna give him two or three more hours and then I'm going to threaten to harm myself if he doesn't get a hold of me soon. So I, <laughs> the other day, I didn't hear from you all day, and I was like, all right, well, and I said, I guess I'll just drive my car off of a cliff, Brad. You know, nice knowing you, <laughs> prick. And then I respond. I yeah, keep, because, I keep you alive. because you don't want me to die. No. And that, Of course not. That means a lot to me, but like... Try not wanting me to die at like 11.30, dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, check it out. Just like end whatever you got to say with that, and then I'll you know be forced to respond. You so don't now have I to wait the seven hours. Just be like, hey, what's up, dog? You trying to kick it later? Guess I'll just fucking kill myself. Yeah, And then I'll cool. be like, what up? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so there you go. So every text I send you from now on is going to end yeah. with, all right, well, I'm going to fucking die soon. So. Yeah. Um, okay, so my second question, Brad, is, am I a fucking bitch, dude? No. <laughs> is that why you don't text me back? Is no. it because I'm a fucking bitch, dude? No, you're not a bitch. I didn't think I was a bitch, Brad. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, you just, I just straight broke, broke your chair. <laughs> well, Only a bitch would break his chair. Only a bitch. Oh, my God. Only in bitch town. Population neek. Would that occur? Anyway, I've been I, I've been holding Does on to that. Does it make you feel like a bitch? What, when you don't text me back? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 
I'm a hundred percent obviously a bitch because my friend <laughs> will take the two to possibly three seconds that it takes to be like, yeah, man, or nah, man. <coughs> this my, is why. My friend who. This is why. Okay. It's because uh, every interaction of ours feels like uh, not a funny contest, but like a funny swap meet. Okay, there's no pressure or winning or losing. Okay, the pressure part was a lie. There's no winning or losing. It's just, all right, now make this guy laugh. <laughs> and then uh, when I don't have anything for that, or like I'm at work and I'm like, I don't have time to fucking think of something hilarious. You got to sit on it for a minute. Yeah, but yeah. that minute turns into like until you threaten to kill yourself. An entire and, day, yeah. Yeah. And then like he's, and then you're like, and oh, then and oh. then like once I'm not doing shit else, once yeah. I you know I'm just occupied with nothing. I'm like, all right, now, I, now I'm ready for a, a, a conversation. Cool, man. Um, so far, all of your explanations are, are, are fine. Um, and here's my third and, and yeah, final well, and, question. Okay, well, I, and I want to oh. clarify something with my explanations. That's not me trying to, like, excuse my actions. Like, I understand not texting you back is terrible, but also it's a game now. Because it's that's where that's me not testing you back is the setup to you being hilarious, and you nail it every time. Well, now I'm feeling the pressure. Uh, oh, don't feel the pressure. You they come see you naturally. You're good at uh, at comedy. So thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. I'm, I've been working on my uh, solid five, trying to just get a, get a foot in the door somewhere. Yeah. Um. Uh. Third and final question. Like, are we friends, dude? Yeah. I mean, like... Absolutely. Well, you're, 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 you're like my best friend. So. I'm your best friend? But you yeah. can't fucking text me back because I'm a bitch, dude? It's, you're not the only person I don't text back. <laughs> <laughs> like, mostly everybody is who I don't text back. Third and final question, dude? Bethany gets the quickest replies. Remember being friends with me, dude? Yeah, I remember that. When you would text back? <laughs> Okay. Just back in the day when I was just eager to talk to this dude, like, oh, what's up? You're, like, super cool and older than me. And yeah, we were like, way better obviously... friends when you were, like, 16. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, like, a hero still. Now yeah. you're just like, ah, oh, yeah, we're peers. We're just peers. <laughs> um, what's... All right. All right. You don't remember. We, I asked you, I've asked you this before, and last time I talked about it, you didn't remember this happening. I can understand why. Um, it was... Either my 19th or 20th birthday party, both of which were in uh, the barn outside of Chatham. Yeah. At our buddy Ryan's house. Shout yeah. outs, Ryan. Shout outs, Ryan. Ryan. SOs to you, bro. Sorry about my uh, soft drink bubbling into the mic there. Uh, I'm an amateur. I'm the Nick's, only the only, Nick's the only professional in the room. Professional. We've heard it before, and it's the, uh, just a fact. So, anyways, that party. We partied my birthday party and then played music about it and left super drunk. Yeah. Um, bad decisions. This is terrible decisions that a young person makes. We had drivers. Yeah. No, we totally had a driver, but we were chilling in the seats, right? Um, being driven super slow to Chatham. <laughs> <laughs> just for safe purposes, just being safe. And then... uh like we that whole ride we were talking about how each other is our hero oh yeah we were we were straight up fucking i can be a hero baby mm. straight up to each other it's uh all right dude you know what never it was like never mind anything i said yeah. I, I'm, I'm 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 just just emotional i know you know i'm, I'm needy and i'm emotional <laughs> I need constant verification and uh, attention. I I'll tell you what I do remember from that barn is... Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. it's happening. That's uh, so it was the end of, like, a kager one night, right? right? No, it wouldn't even... This was the night before my 20th birthday party. It was! We were out yeah. kind of, like, setting stuff yeah, up we were just like, stuff like, We out. cleaned up the place a little bit we were setting some stuff up for that night like not even much like a table and some chairs or whatever the fuck and we we're like yeah, it's so, the end of the night. so we had like th i had like two or three beers yeah and you know smoked cigarettes like normal so it was me and brad and the homeowner 
and probably Wally. like three or four other dudes kind of just standing I around. I think Wally and Cody. Yeah, I know. Um, I know Tanner was there. Our I, buddy Tanner. Yeah. Shout outs, Tanner. Tanner, shout outs. Tanner, shout out. So we're all standing around talking, about to go home. Brad takes a drag of his cigarette, and then fucking <laughs> collapses forward into the wall. It was scary at first because he's like, <sighs> and then. It's Death. banging on the table. Well, I'm, try, I'm trying to. Attached. I'm trying to. Oh, you know, th- he can bang on the table for emphasis, but I do it, dude. And he's the only professional no, in the room. I'm he's the only to... professional in the room. He's the only one who knows how to do it right. Anyways, continue your story. Okay, so Please. I'm trying to provide sound effects to enhance <laughs> my story. You know what? We'll hire a fucking foley artist. All right. We will. We will hire a foley artist someday when we're when we're cool i think i'm pretty cool already brad but whatever Mm. anyway so brad fell face first into this wall and dude there were like old shitty rusty chains and like nails coming through yeah terrifying hooks like a lot of harmful (laughs) paraphernalia and his face landed like two inches away from all of the death right and like he yeah. he like was, swam back up the wall like he struggled to get up for I don't know what happened to you that night dude like I still think was, about that sometimes I'm that like, was my first experience in fainting yeah that's what fainting is it yeah. turns out so I had never done that before either that was my first time in that kind of deal as well yeah it was fucked I um, can imagine it wasn't as fucked for me because my whole like what well, what's weird about it is uh, you're. Oh, I don't like your your thoughts are still there. You're con- you're still fully conscious in your head. Like it's not like your thoughts slow down, but like you feel yourself lose motor function, and you're like, "What? That's terrifying." You're like, "This is kind of wild." And it's over the course of like five seconds. Is that really what you said to yourself? Oh, this is kind of wild. No, I was like, <laughs> no, I was like, it, my I guess my thoughts were like, "Why are you off balance? You need to step forward." Okay, now you need to step back. Yeah, and then that's that's kind of what my thoughts were as this was happening, but um, <clears throat> it's it's crazy. Like you're, have you ever seen? Like, do you ever have wild shit happen to your vision? Like it's like you got low blood pressure or something, so you start to see these kind of fireflies. Just um, in your periphery, well, not yeah, where yeah. you're focusing. But you ever seen the fireflies in your periphery? Yeah, like they come around, they buzz for a second, and then they go away. And they're gone. That's usually when I something crazy happens. I stand up too fast, or yeah, you know, there's, exactly. There's some kind of pressure shift in my body. Yeah, no, exactly. So yeah. that happened, Dude. and then like you're like you close your eyes. Like I was gonna say, my vision went dark, but it was more like I kind of just closed my fucking eyes. Um, and like, cause I felt my I felt myself wobble back, and that's when I'm like, oh, take a step forward. This is odd. And then I took a step forward, and then they just kept going that way, and like my knees gave out. Yeah. It's, but it's not like your knees buckle. It's not like I buckled. And it's like you just slowly, over the course of two seconds, lose the strength in your legs. It's like you're at a hundred percent in your legs. You're at fifty percent now. You have nothing. Yeah, boy. Like, so boy, you're mid motion. You so you're mid motion, and it's wild. And I'm like, step forward. Oh, too much. Red try to take step back. Not happening. And then my face is in a fucking wall. Yeah, with chains and hooks. just blow. And yeah. it was all face too. Like I didn't yeah. even. It's like I didn't get my hands up or anything. So I'm just facing the wall, like down on my knees. <laughs> blah blah. And then I pawed at the wall like a little kitty cat. Tried to climb so, up the wall. And that was the strength in all my limbs coming back. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, if you could re-envision that and imagine, like, that's me going from zero strength, barely able to lift my hands, yeah. to actually regaining everything and being able to stand up and yeah. with the assistance of the wall and being like, what the fuck, dude? Were- <laughs> what the fuck? So, my, my favorite part of the story... <laughs> Is that this happens and we all go silent and we watch Brad try to, you know, baby deer paw his way up the yeah, wall. Yeah, thanks for the help, everybody. Yeah, well, fuck, what are we going to do? We're all I don't know who to, like, help me get up. Yeah, probably would have been nice. Um, 
As, Don't let me lift myself against the danger wall. <laughs> as, as soon as you had all of your faculties about you, you just pretended like that didn't happen. Dude. Well, I felt back to normal. And, and, and I'm, like, I'm like, dude, are you good? And you're like, yep, nope, I'm good. Uh, let's go. Let's go, though. Like, let's go home now, obviously. Yep, I'm fine. Let's just get the fuck out of here. So. <laughs> All right, Ryan, we'll see you tomorrow. For... Cool. Thanks, buddy. All right, we're going to come party super hard tomorrow. Yep. It's going to be great. Yep, ready to go. <laughs> going to go. <laughs> uh, well, you know, what do you do? Anyway, I watched you die and then come back to life. How about it, dude? And then you pretend like you didn't just die and come back to life, That's dude. That's a pretty it cool way of thinking wild. about it. That's a pretty cool way of thinking wild. about it. So that's the time Brad died in front of me. That's a bad place to do that. Right. So, um, I was... That's a, that's, I'm, I'm, does that make me a god now? You're not a god. Oh. You're, you're nowhere close, you prick. You need to pull off a couple miracles. Well, there's one. Check that one off the list. Uh, okay, I said a couple, first of all, and then you said there's one, so... What you said didn't count. I'm just trying... No, it did. I'm trying to make sure in your little uh, book of miracles of Brad's that you count that shit. All right? I don't want... I don't want to have to re-miracle some shit. That's going to be difficult to do. So I'm pretty sure what I said was that I need to see a couple miracles, and you're like, there's one, and that's not a couple, dog. Well, see, in this whole this whole time, I've been trying to think of another miracle that I've accomplished. Uh, hey, man! Verifiable by you is the thing. Well, yeah, and I'm a I'm a I'm a tough uh, cookie to crack or whatever the fuck. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm you're not tough, impressed you're, by much, buddy. You're a tough nut to bust. Sometimes I I think, and I'm like, dude, I am such a pretentious asshole uh, i i <laughs> somebody's like somebody's like dude have you seen this movie and i'm like ah fuck that guy he's not cool or funny that movie probably sucks yeah. and then i like mentally tell myself never see that movie because of that one uh conversation i had like a year ago where someone was like see this movie i'm like nope that That's movie why. sucks forever I I have a dose of that in me. Like that's why I never watched Sons of Anarchy much, or never really got into The Walking Dead and stuff like that. Because like by the time I would have been interested in it, it had garnered so much attention that I'm like, ah, you know, I'm probably behind, and I just don't really give a shit. It's worth I'm watching. Too, like the I'm first, too cool for the first. School. I did end up seeing the first three or four seasons of The Walking Dead. It's it's worth watching for a while. I, I one I, after prison. That's four, right? I don't even know. It's, oh, it's okay. been so long. Yeah. It sucks well, you know. so bad now, dude. Yeah, that's what I, I, I fuck, man. It, and it breaks my heart. I could give a shit less. It was, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the we're just real gassy hour with Nick and Brad and the fun time we had. And I love my dad. He does love his dad. I love my dad too. If we're talking about dad love, dude, I love your dad. Yeah, your dad's pretty dope too. My dad, I love your, so I dope. love your dad. Yeah. If your dad was like, I'm done, and I had to wait to be like, I can save you, Randy Pantagoon. I would totally then, save my dad. Then I'd save your dad. Yeah. I mean, granted, I could it's like if I had the chance to save somebody's life, I'd probably save anybody's life. But like, it would be super cool if. It was your dad, even though you'd have to go through some sort of traumatic experience? That sounds kind of sociopathic. Yeah, this is fucked. I, uh... <coughs> anyway, my dad's doing fine. Uh... <laughs> we, don't, we don't have to worry about that. All as right, far cool. as I know, everything's cool. We play Randy golf on the regular. Pedigo. No accidents. It's super fun. No accidents in the Pedigo household. He's a better golfer than me. Well, I would imagine. The fuck is that supposed to mean? Well, it's... <laughs> I imagine he's done a lot more golfing than you. Oh, okay. All right. Like, just yeah. he has the hours in it, so then yeah. there. You're right. Dude, yeah. I got to tell you, I As was about to pull the back of your shirt over your face and punch you in the head. You've been watching hockey fights on the shitter again? What's hockey? Okay. All right. 
Are we fucking doing this? Is the show over so we can fist fight, dude? Yeah, let's take it out by the trucks. <laughs> I, so the, little inside story, and we'll keep it short. One time I told a guy we could clock out and go fight by the trucks, and I was serious. And anyway, we did not go fight by the trucks because what the fuck. But it became a thing, dude. I used and to be so angry. Are. You were you were an angry individual. What's that about? I think you still are, but you just know how to vent it now and channel it or into whatever. So like, you do cool shit and it comes out, or or what? Maybe just also like, it's we're we're older now, so you're like maybe I'm not as angry of a person. Yeah. People can also not be as angry as they were in their youth. I think that's what it is, dude. I I think I'm just. Fucking 33. You got old, you chilled out, I man. got kids and a wife, dude, yeah. and I'm just like, nothing matters, yeah. really. Life dude. beat you down enough now that you're like, whatever, man. Now I'm just a bitch. Yeah, well, me you too. You were right, dude, I am a bitch. <laughs> you shouldn't text me back, because I'm such a fucking bitch, Brad. Well, yeah, okay, don't text me back either, because I'm the same way. The rage is coming back, Like, baby. I gave up on fucking life being super radical the whole time. <laughs> You know? That's the secret to happiness is yeah. just giving up on your hopes and dreams. Pretty much. Yeah, dude. I mean, maybe not giving up on those, but just settling in the fact that until those are ever achieved, you're going to be fucking miserable 90% of the time because you're at a place called fucking work, oh. dude. Oh, my God. It's my least favorite place. But, you know, got to bring it home. You do. You got to bring it home. You got to get that bacon somehow. This mic, did you just see this microphone move by itself? No. It moved over like this far by itself. That's stiff. That's crazy. That had to be a, a Geist, which is German for ghost. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Brad's German lesson of the day brought to you by Bethany because uh, she just says random German shit. What's that about? Is she German? Oh, sh- by the way, shout outs. Bethany, shout outs. Bethany, shout outs. Bethany, hi. Bethany, shout outs. So, um, so. She knows how to speak German. Wow. So, like, we'll be walking through Washington Park, and she'll be like, <laughs> And I'm like, and I'm like, what was that? And she was like, ah, I was speaking German. And I'm like, that's cool. And in my head, and I'm, in my head, I'm like, but you know that, like, I don't really speak German. So, like, what did you say? And then I just keep that to myself, and everything's cool, and I love her. Well, now it's out there. So you'll be walking through a park, and she's like, look, Brad. And you're like, oh, yeah, it is, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? I'm like, oh, baby, that's rad. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then we keep walking. It's going to be a response to everything that I don't understand from now on. Oh, man, that's rad. Yeah, straight up. Remember a couple years ago, like, everybody tried to bring Rad back, and it wasn't as cool because, like, everybody was saying it? Yeah. Dude. When Rad's not Rad, you know what I mean? Rad was no longer Rad because of all the people saying it. Yeah. PSA, things are only cool when, like, 30% or less of folks say them. I think everybody needs to just... Once, it's like once they go beyond niche, they're... Sour grapes. Yeah, exactly. Fucking who wants that? Right. Who wants that lit fam? <laughs> I, I I say lit and fam uh, ironically now, but I feel like even that is not cool anymore. Like I'll, t- I'll tell people swing through, it's lit fam, and then I'm like, <sighs> I feel like enough people have said that to be funny, to where even that's not funny anymore. <clears throat> yeah, you're right about it Uh, and ultimately like that's the reason nobody wants to text me back ever it's because because it's all fucking jargon and not even the cool kind and i'm always like dog fam it's lit on fleek i don't say on fleek i've never 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 said on fleek dude it's never let's fuck off that's just the way it goes man sometimes you say cool shit sometimes you don't and uh sometimes i respond and more often than not i don't that's just the way the fucking world turns dude so get off my jock about it i'm not on it dude get off my jock i'm not on it hop off my jock about it hey man let's 
let's wrap this bitch up. You know, it's been a Fair solid half hour. Mm. So, what did we learn today, Brad? Uh, first things first, I'm a fucking bitch. You're a bitch. I don't text back. It's you because text you're back. a bitch. Bitch. I don't say on fleek. Because you're a bitch. Because I'm a fucking bitch. And, and I feel like that's what most of this episode's been about, if we're being honest. Did I kind of hijack the episode about me being a bitch? No, I didn't mean that in any way. So I hijacked the episode because I'm a fucking bitch, dude. Just going to have to put you down. No, you don't. Going to have to put you down, old fella. I'm going to have to put me down. Anyway. Well, it's a, I think you gone lame. Hey, man. Going to uh, have to take you out behind the barn and, and put you down easy. Yes, and put them down. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the fucking worst podcast in the world. Uh, we love you very much, and we hope you listen to the next episode. You are Nick, and I am Brad. And this is the terrible podcast. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. <laughs>